with another girlfriend, and we went down very early to Alaruba Square in Sharjah, where people went to get their jobs. And it must have been about 6.30 in the morning, and she wanted to write poetry, and I wanted to do some drawings. And it was the beginning of this book, The Desert Knows Me Well. And um, they had done it in, in pen and ink, and my idea was that I would get back to England, and uh, when I got back to England, I would research at the Oriental Archives in the British Museum some quotations from Arabic poets. And, um, and that's precisely what I did. But the, I loved doing these drawings because they depict lots of different aspects of Arab life. As it was, um, the souk, um, the old fort at Fujira, the Barasti buildings, the Bustakia, and different things like this one here, which I love this picture, and it's on the front of the book that this eventually became. And this picture is at the end of the camel racing. Now, in those days, camel racing, we, we took our four-wheel drive, or Land Rover, and we just belted along beside the camels whose track was marked out with oil drums. And we went right, right into the desert, I don't know how long, quite a long way, to this tree. And this tree marked at that day, on that day anyway, the end of the camel race. And it was such fun. I'd get tired at the end of the day, and my daughter would say, come on, Mum, you know what to do. We need to go down to the Sharjah Souk and along by the creek for a walk. She'd be then about six or seven. And um, so off I went with the children. Oh, we, they used to love it. And we used to buy a, a piece of bread. I can't remember what it's called now, but they'd slap it against the wall of the oven and would pay a fill for it. No, no, 25 fills for it or something like that. Anyway, Shasha Souk was like this. It had brasty palm fronds over the top to give shale, sh to shield from the sun. And the old guys would sit outside selling their pearls and we used to sit down and talk to them. They were lovely. And, and it was all very, very relaxed. And often I'd just sit there and the guy would show me the pearls that he'd got that day. He'd take out a little sack from his pocket and unwrap it. And inside were the glorious, beautiful girls you would love it, pearls. Absolutely charming. And then the other side that's so different is you don't have it now. I don't see any evidence of it anymore. It's the brasty, the brasty dwellings. Sometimes they were called sort of like Carton City, I seem to recall, but the Brasti dwellings, um, they were built out of um, palm fronds and they were built on courtyards with little compartments around and wind towers with canvas cloths to direct the wind down to give them air conditioning, I suppose. There's a little boy here with a wheel and just like they did at the turn of the, the 19th, into the 19th century in England, the children would drum a wheel along with a stick. This little boy drummed his wheel along with a stick. It, it is very charming. It's very charming. It's so different now. <laughs> it's so different I can barely recognize it. Well, I don't recognize it. <laughs>